Hi everybody, welcome back or welcome to my channel. I hope everybody's well. This video I'm actually really excited for. So in today's video, I'm going to be discussing, talking about relatable pressures that teenagers face in today's society. So before we get into today's video, I just want to make sure that you're like, that you like this video and subscribe and I hit 300 subscribers. How, how just exciting is that? I'm just so happy about that. So thank you to everybody who is subscribed and continues to support me. Um, I know, I don't know what's happening with my hair today, but I thought I'd like curl it because you know I've got short hair. Um, let's just get on with the video. So, pressure number one that i know everybody feels pressured to get is good grades now obviously you want good grades like because you don't want to be working in mcdonald's like you don't want to be getting f's on every single test that you do but the only grades that you need is english and maths like i know they're boring well i didn't find them boring but i know some people find them boring those are actually my favorite subjects <laughs> No, I know. But there's nothing wrong with being keen about getting good grades. But the pressures, like, that your parents put on you, your teachers put on you, like, it's not healthy. I'm not going to lie. No one goes to uni and goes, what you get in your GCSEs? No one cares. So, my advice is to just let go of the pressure. Like, do you. You do you. You get the grades that you want. If you mess them up, you mess them up. If you, if you don't mess them up, you do amazing, like amazing nice um but don't like stress yourself out like i do you do you do it for yourself don't do it because your parents are on your back all the time telling you to do your freaking homework because it's not their life the second most relatable thing that i actually can re really relate to and take it from the queen herself of billy no mates um the pressures of having to feel liked to be likeable, to to just be nice to everyone, to have friends basically. Um, sorry to break it to you guys, but when we're 30, we're not going to talk to the popular kids. Like, popularity gets you nowhere in life. All you need is like one best mate. And, you know, you don't even need mates. Do you know what I mean? Focus on your grades, get the, thing, get the grades that you want and you need, and then you can just say, bye to all the negative people when i first started school i thought like i need friends then you realize as you get to your 11 who even cares like i'm gonna be honest with you guys like, i had no mates at one point <sighs> that's actually pretty deep but <laughs> i didn't care well at the time i cared but now i'm like who cares the girls at my school were bitches anyway obviously like there's some exceptions i felt so rude <laughs> There were some exceptions, and the girls who are exceptions know they're exceptions because they're still talking. Next relatable thing that I know everyone can relate to is having a certain amount of likes, followers, comments. Like, you know, then people are like, I'm a recent, I'm a recent. If you comment on my picture, I'll comment your picture. No, like, it's weird. It's weird. I post my Instagram pictures for myself. If people want to like it, they can like it. If they don't like it, they don't got to look at it. Do you know what I mean? Honestly, I don't know why people feel so pressured. Like, think of it in the grand scheme of things. Who cares if you've got 50 likes on one pictures and 100 on the other? It honestly drives me insane that people get so obsessed with followers, likes and stuff. Because it's like, it's not healthy. It's actually not healthy. Right, number four. Knowing who you are, knowing what you want to be when you're older. I am going to be honest. So I had my life planned out from when I was about 10 years old. I want to be a lawyer. I want to go to law school. I want a child before I'm 20. Like, weird things. Now I'm 16. I don't want to be a lawyer. What the hell? Could you imagine me? In a lawyer, like, hat and stuff like that. I couldn't be a lawyer. It doesn't interest me anymore. I wanted to be like the girl from Legally Blonde. I know, weird. Anyway, the point I was making <laughs> before I brought him all by myself 
you haven't got to know what you want to be. You shouldn't care if you if you don't know what you want to be when you're older. Because I don't. I don't. I don't know what I want to get famous for. Just just live your best life, guys, and you'll find yourself along the way. Point five, people pleasing. I'm going to admit it. I'm a people pleaser. If it makes me unhappy, I don't care because I want to please people all the time and i never used to admit to being a people pleaser but i am i'm a people pleaser guys and obviously it's fine do nice things to people but if that is literally affecting your happiness then what is the point number six not feeling good enough i don't know why people go through this stage but i know i know like you don't feel like you're good enough whether you don't feel good enough for that certain girl or that certain boy um, whether you don't feel good enough in life, like you don't feel good enough to have a house, a family, but you, but you're good enough. I promise you guys, you're good enough. So that just blows my mind all the time that people actually sit there and think like that they're not good enough for certain people, certain things to do things. It makes me so sad. But but if you're watching this and you're going through a hard time, just take this as a sign. Like, you're good enough. So, everybody, that is it for today's video. I hope you all enjoyed it. If you did, don't forget to smash a big thumbs up. If you felt like you could relate to these, comment down below. Comment down below other pressures that we feel. If you did enjoy this video, don't forget to smash a big thumbs up and subscribe. And I'll be back with another video on Thursday. Bye, guys. What? <laughs>